Are you tired of building these vanilla pedestrian overpass? Overpasses? Do you want to elevate your overpass making game? What? What's, what's that? Oh, oh, you play on console. Ah. Uh... So listen up, because in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Here's a list of assets and mods you're going to want to have. Pedestrian deck, planters and curbs, tree and vehicle props too, procedural objects, pedestrian deck fence network, and find it too. All of these will be linked down below in the description, so make sure you go on over there and clickety clack. To start us off, we're going to go into find it and type in pedestrian. Or at least try to. And then we'll find our pedestrian decking that we just downloaded. Turn it into a procedural object. We are going to click convert into PO up top at the right here. Now that it's a procedural object. Cl select it, edit. And I'm going to rotate it 183. Strictly because I find the bottom side of the this decking to be more appealing visually. Less of a tile look, more of like a concrete... Uh, Kind of brushed look. I'm gonna rotate it so it faces the direction of where the pedestrian will go. The next step will be to you know flush it up with our key over here. So there you go, this is our starting point. The next thing we're gonna do is actually start copying uh, and pasting this exact block. In a row so we're going to use this position tool while holding control you're going to drag it and it's going to create a copy of it and put it right flush up to it let go and then you have a copy and now whenever you control click drag it's going to do a it's going to repeat previous movement as you can see here on screen and it's going to snap to where you previously let go so this should give us the same exact movement every time Starting here, we're going to start rotating down like so. Now, I don't really have an exact science of how to do this, but I'll usually just trial and error it. So here you can kind of mess around with the positioning or the rotation until you think it's something that is appealing, not too steep, where you would potentially be a danger for your pedestrian. But I think this is actually pretty good. I'm going to do the drag and copy. Same spot. Actually, we might go halfway. This is kind of like a long... It's been a long day. All right, so this looks good to me. Now we're going to we're gonna switch back to being flat. So we're going to copy this one that we know is flat. The rotation of the earth. If you want to select multiple objects, you can right click and drag like I'm doing right now, or you can control click multiple objects. Here's a quick tip. If you alt page up or down, it'll give you finer movement. Okay, now that we got our base covered here and uh, we have our layout, what I'm going to add is a more structural aspect to the, to the build here, meaning that this wouldn't actually work in real life. It would need some support below. And to do that, I'm going to use the same decking material and flip it vertically. But it's all a solid base over here. Here's a quick tip to match the angle of the ramp here, which obviously can't be done without a little modification since squares. Go into customization over here. Click and then it'll give you these nodes that you select and move around. We're going to right click drag, select this corner and then raise it till we get where we want to be. Uh, but we're actually going to make sure this lines up to the exact part where your angle starts like so. And we're going to do the same thing with the middle nodes. There you go. And then the same first one. And there you go. And I'm going to do the same thing over here.
here I'm just looking for a nice pillar that would look good for the bridge portion of the overpass and I end up picking one that I believe comes with the uh, bridge uh, content creator pack. All right, here we go. One thing that I want to mention, go into procedural object and uh, select everything and make it into a group so that we have our structure in one group and then we'll have our props and detailing in other groups because if you don't then you're just going to be left with a bunch of little x's all over the place and it's going to be kind of a mess so make sure you group everything together so the next step here will be a little bit of beautification detailing if you will so that's why we downloaded the planter and uh, we're going to make use of it you have to keep in mind that some of these planters that i have and that you might have do not turn into procedural objects uh, but the ones that I've listed at the beginning do, and it is this one, and I find that it works fairly well, like it doesn't look distorted when you modify it, so that's why I, I stick with this one mostly. Give it some more height, what we're gonna do is, you could use the scaling, I believe, but what I find is that it raises the grass bar like so, and that doesn't look very good. Oh, what the f***? Alright, sorry about that. We're going to scale it back to the original uh, scale, sort of. And then we're going to grab the nodes at the bottom here. I think it's a little messy to find the right one. You rotate around and you can find the bottom nodes here. And then we're going to drag them down like so. Now we gave it some depth. Here's a quick tip. Uh, as you can see, if I keep dragging these along, they're not going to be parallel to my pedestrian or basket. It's really hard to get these angles. So I'm just going to select the and move them. And it's going to mess everything up. R for the course. And here I'm going to make sure that right clicking and dragging will rotate. Kind of like it moved it. This looks you know, with the naked eye, so to speak. Pretty good. So I'm just going to plop this some bit down. And then I should be parallel. All right, on with the frick. Here I'm just adding some fences, uh, the ones that I link in the description. The good thing about these is they act as a network, but can also be elevated off the ground. Alright, this admittedly took way too long, but I think the result's pretty cool, and uh, people will be safe and won't fall off, so what more do you want from a fence, realistically? The next thing is uh, trees and, uh, and bushes and stuff. So in Find It, you're gonna want to go into your props, and that's why we downloaded trees as props, because... As you can see, the default trees cannot be turned into a object. They just kind of disappear because they're not considered props. Go into props, then under these filters, you have the tree thing, and then you should have access to all your trees and bushes and stuff. And these, you can see, can convert into a PO. Uh, we need this because, because with procedural objects, you can raise these. And obviously, we need them to be that this is a race platform you see one thing that is also cool about the props turned into procedural object trees is they still move with the wind which a lot of these procedural objects are just inanimate but somehow trees move and that's pretty neat what i like to do is create a little template on the ground and then copy paste it onto my actual project if this was a real city i'd probably spend a little bit more time on making it look more realistic and less copy pasted I'm not going to spend too much time on detailing here because at the end of the day, it's really up to you and how you want your overpass to look. So the last thing we need to go over now is how to make it functional. So to make it functional, we're going to need to add an invisible path. But before we make it invisible, we're going to use a regular path to get the height just right because uh, with an invisible path, it's practically impossible to know how high you are. So we're going to make it flush with the ground here like so that way the pedestrian can access it from here and then we're gonna follow the slope all the way down to the ground 
there this is currently functional but obviously it looks kind of stupid so we're gonna upgrade it to one of our invisible paths using the upgrade tool and just like so you have a functioning overpass so there you have it your own custom pedestrian overpass you've just upped your detailing game and lowered your fps by 30 frames good job dumbass